Today I'd like to talk about cleaning walls. Normally when you think about cleaning walls, you grab your spray bottle, you grab your microfiber cloth and away you go. I'd like to suggest something that works uh, quite effectively and is a little bit more uh, energy efficient. So right here we have a hand trowel and it works with your with your doodle bug pads, so such as your green one, your black one, you can also get your red one, and also we have a microfiber pad here. So again, this fits on your doodle bug, and it's also designed to fit on this hand trowel. So what you do when you're cleaning your, your walls is you grab your all-purpose cleaning solution. Here I have one that's uh, made up of uh, all-purpose, uh, excuse me, peroxide-based all-purpose, and I just dip it in here like I would with a microfiber mop pad squeeze it out a bit you don't want too much water left behind and put her on and then you go and you look for fingerprints on walls because generally what you're being asked by your customer is for is to uh, is to spot clean so here we have so uh, we I have to admit we did stage this but this is this is where you would find your spot cleaning normally is is right around your your light switches and on door frames so what you do is instead of spraying away just take your pad and just wipe it clean. All right, see so that's coming right off. And just to make sure, so there's a little bit of black ink on there, a lot more ink than you normally would. So I'm just going to do a quick dip again. Just as I said, bring it out a bit. You don't want to leave too much chemical residue behind. Let the microfiber do the work for you and just put it back on your pad, excuse me, your trowel. And on the other side of that same door frame, we have some marks. So here's a mark here and just wipe it away. And a little bit down farther, you can see there's a little bit of a spill here. And just wipe it away and down. Now down here, you can see we have base bars with some half decent scratches on them. I'm not sure if this this fiber pad will take it away but uh, if uh, the fiber if the microfiber pad doesn't take it away what you could do is start pulling out that green pad uh, or, or even the black pad if you want to try to scrub away the harder ones uh, but again remember that this is a painted surface and if you start using a black pad or even sometimes a green pad on the painted surfaces it can get uh, a little bit dicey. You may lose some paint. So over here is another spot where you quite often you're asked to clean. So there was a garbage pail here, and as you can see, we had a little too too much of the basketball player going here, and there's quite a bit of spillage. So we need to just grab the pad and start scraping away. So this is probably a week or two worth, and as you can see, it's coming off reasonably easy. And again, I'm able to use my entire arm to do this rather than just my fingers. And, uh, and off it comes. All right, so again, um, most of the time when you're asked to clean, you're doing spot cleaning. You're spot cleaning around the areas where the garbage is. You're doing the vertical surfaces in the kitchen like you have here. And uh, door frames, light switches. And sometimes you actually are supposed to walk around a building, look for fingerprints, and this, this method is quite quick. Again, like I said, anything that you have to use on your doodle bug will also work here. I really like my microfiber pad, but you have your blue or your green pads, or if need be, the black pads that you usually use for stripping and waxing. Thank you.